everybody and welcome back to the channel. Before we start today's topic, I'm going to do that thing that all YouTubers love to do, but I often forget. And that's invite you to like this video if you enjoy it, share it on your socials, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, don't forget to give my little bell a ring-a-ding in order to ensure my future videos pop up in your subscriptions feed and you won't miss anything. It really helps my channel and doesn't cost you a penny, unlike my Patreon, of course, which might cost you a dollar or two, but you'll get some great benefits. Check that out in the description below. But anyway, let's get to answering that question from the title and talk a little bit about whether or not I feel that Taiwan is a dangerous place or not. And yes, I know I've made a video before called Is Taiwan Safe? Therefore, you may think that this video is somewhat unnecessary. But in that previous video, I discussed more about the safety in relation to crime, which basically is almost non-existent in Taiwan. Yes, there are criminals here, some of them very organized in their ways of breaking the law. But to be very honest, as a foreigner here, the few gangsters that do exist are just not interested in us. And it's something I just personally don't see. And other crimes that you may expect, such as pickpocketing, mugging, or tourist scams that occur in other Asian countries are genuinely almost never heard of here. So rather than focusing this video on the dangers or lack of dangers from crime here in Taiwan, what I'm gonna focus on are the other dangers that you may face when coming to live here. First of which I will mention is probably the thing that affects foreigners' daily lives the most here, and that's the traffic. Unless you are very lucky and happen to live in the same building where you work, you are gonna have to commute to work here in Taiwan. And nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna do that by scooter. And as many of us arriving here from Western countries don't typically ride scooters back home, we have to learn quickly in order to stay as safe as possible on the roads. Small accidents are pretty common. You may see one as often as a couple of times a week. And unfortunately, larger accidents, although not as commonly seen, are usually pretty dangerous for those involved. Uh, I tried to get some figures on the number of uh, deaths every year and the most recent numbers I could find are from 2016 where a total of 2,877 people died from road accidents. Now that was down from 4,411 in 2006. That's according to the Ministry of Transportation and Communication figures. As you can see numbers are going down but 12.2 road fatalities per 100,000 people in 2016 still remained higher than most developed countries around the world. I've seen too many Facebook stories of foreigners being seriously injured and killed on Taiwan's roads, either as drivers, passengers, or in some cases, just walking along the street. My advice to any newcomers to the country is to seriously take extreme care at all times when outside, especially as a pedestrian, when you'll often find yourself without a sidewalk to walk on and you have to walk in the road alongside scooters whizzing by you. And especially look out for these new food delivery Uber Eats and Food Panda drivers. They are on a mission to, I don't know where, they are just extremely dangerous drivers. So yes, please be extra vigilant when driving, walking, or even standing next to the road. I know I made a parody video about scooter safety before, but after reading the facts and figures of how many people are killed on the roads here, I am being very serious in this one. Which brings me to another pretty serious danger here, and that's the earthquakes. Taiwan is located on the western edge of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a very seismically active area. And as such, in the past year, 365 days before filming this video, we have had 83 earthquakes over 1.5 on the Richter scale, 
20 of which were over five. And I have to tell you, for anyone that's not felt an earthquake before, it's pretty unnerving, let's just say that. Uh, the most memorable one for me was around about Christmas time back in 2009, and we were at a friend's Christmas party in Jiangwa on the 14th or 15th floor, and the whole building suddenly started swaying pretty violently and people were running outside screaming shouting uh, my wife and her sister were hugging the wall praying in Afrikaans for God to help them admittedly they were both pretty drunk but they were also genuinely terrified and they had reason to be although the building techniques have improved a lot recently it is said that a lot of unscrupulous building companies have tried to save money in the past when building apartment complexes they will fill the walls with garbage and empty oil drums in order to use less concrete and save money so if you are coming here to live definitely be aware of the building you rent and make sure it's a newer build as it's likely to help you if another big earthquake comes and also just as a bit of extra advice when you are in an earthquake it's advised that you cover your head either under a table or with your bag and shut off the gas and electricity if it's possible and also open your front door if you can to prevent it getting jammed but basically there's not much more you can do other than just wait for it to pass and hope everything's okay and on to my final danger of Taiwan which again I have covered in a previous video with Sean from Origins Air and that's the air pollution apparently Taichung is home to the world's biggest coal-fired power plant just over Dadu Mountain there in Shalu and in November 2015 it was claimed that the EPA's PM 2.5 index which measures the PM 2.5 particles the smallest most dangerous pollutants in the air this index indicated poor air qualities for almost one-third of Taiwan cities for more than 100 days that year and Nanto actually topped the list at 147 days of this high PM 2.5 index uh, also based on data from 2016 the environmental group AirClean Taiwan they claimed that 2017 Kaohsiung's Zhuoying district, Yunlin's Lumbei township and Pingdong were among the worst affected districts in the country, with Lumbei topping that list regarding high levels of PM2.5. And this actually triggered the red and purple alerts issued by the Environmental Protection Agency. Lots of facts and figures I'm sure are available online, but whatever the facts and figures are, it is clear that the air quality is a problem. And although I don't really notice any negative effects personally yet, I do notice that after it's rained, the air does feel exceptionally cleaner and lighter. So maybe I'm just ignoring the dirty air on bad days and I'll pay for it in the future. But yes, I just couldn't make a video about the dangers of Taiwan without mentioning the air pollution. But anyway, before I wrap up the video, I want to say one thing. That of course, every country has its dangers and negative aspects of life there. And as such, I absolutely know that after weighing up these negatives and of course the positives in Taiwan, I know that this country is definitely the place I choose to live. It's the best for me. Yes, there are dangers and they are real and present problems to us, but the positives that I cover in much more detail in my other videos just make this the perfect place for me to live. The food, the people, the culture, and other little details that just make me smile every day, just make the occasional shaky shake of an earthquake or an erratic taxi ride every now and then seem like something I could live with. After all, if I was watching a Taiwanese guy making videos in England saying how dangerous it was, then my first comment to him would probably be, well, you're welcome to leave at any time. And I know that's true of me here. I'm welcome to leave, of course, but I'm still here after 11 years and loving it, not planning to leave anytime soon. But anyway, yes, time for me to say goodbye and invite you to add any other dangers of Taiwan into the comment section down below. 
Uh, I know I didn't touch on some of the other things you might mention, such as snakes or the typhoons, which also present danger to us. But if you have anything to add, then please join the discussion down below. As I mentioned earlier, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and give my bell a little ring. It's much appreciated. But as for now, and as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace.